Forgot how much energy it took to uh, chop wood. <laughs> yeah, need to get in better shape, that's for sure. I hear people, I don't know if you hear that, I hear some people shooting guns. Um, hello, <laughs> welcome to Spirit Forest. I um, got some bad news. And, uh, you know, when you chop wood, it really lets a lot of energy out. And I almost forgot about that. I probably should chop a lot more wood. Um, I've been pretty angry, and it's not my nature to be angry. Um, so sometimes I don't know what to do with it when I am angry, because I'm not used to it. Um, they're going to be flying planes over me, I think. So... In case you hear that, I'm not going to edit that out of the video. Um, I got laid off, you guys. So YouTube is not my full-time career by any means. <laughs> I think I make $25 or $30 a month off YouTube. You know, my Patreons help pay for my software, which thank you, Patreons, for that. Really, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, because without that, I, I probably wouldn't be able to do YouTube um, without them right now. I just, I won't be able to. Um, I'm trying to make it so that I don't have to record this video multiple times because I'm not used to being angry. And sometimes things come out of my mouth that shouldn't come out of my mouth. <laughs> and I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix me. <laughs> and the only way I know how to do that is to be with my trees. <laughs> and chop them up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But no, I have never in my entire career never been laid off. I've always been the last one standing. Even when like companies get sold, I'm always the last one, you know, and I am the hardest worker that I know. And I'm not just trying to boost myself. I'm really not. Um, I really am the hardest worker I know. And I try, I give 100%. And if it's possible to give 110, I would give that, you know. But I'm just saying that, you know, I give everything to my career or anything that I'm working on. I give 100% to it. It's just who I am. And to be laid off to me was like, what? <laughs> what did I do wrong? And the thing that was wrong is that they lied. And this is where my mouth will say things I shouldn't say. Because, yeah. But they lied. And uh, they said something and it wasn't true. And I verified it. I had to make sure I verified it. And it wasn't true. Um, but that was their reason that they came up with to lay me off. And yeah, I've had people say, oh, go get a, go get a lawyer, you know, and go fight them and, and get what you need. And, and that's not my style either, you know, cause I'm kind of like, you know what, if you don't want me here, I don't need to be here. You know, um, I, I worked 14 hour days and weekends and like 11 o'clock at night, I'm in bed in my PJs and I get a call and saying that I need to work on something right now. And I did it. And for, uh, it's, okay, damn. <laughs> Count to 10. Sometimes talking about it helps me and sometimes it doesn't. It just makes me more mad. Um... The thing is, though, and I truly believe this, is that things happen for a reason. You know, it's 
And I don't know what the reason is. I feel like I'm on the, what is it, the eighth season of my life here and the writers are running out of stuff to talk about. And so they're just making stuff up to make it interesting. <laughs> you know, so I'm just like, I'm like, what now? You know, it's like, I feel like just internally, I'm just like everything that I do seems to always be a challenge everything whether it be the marriage that i was in uh buying the cabin covid happened during the middle of it you know it's just like everything i do it, it just seems like the writers of my life decide oh well let's put this challenge in for her you know what i mean because let's see if she could do this let's you know and, and that's kind of what it feels like it's like how many more challenges are they going to give me you know it's just like can can life just be easy just for like a, a moment or maybe my life got too easy and the writers and you know I'm using that as a metaphor you guys you know but but it's like maybe maybe things need to be changed up that maybe this is who I am I I don't know I don't know why I can't just you know live life without having some sort of challenge happen in it you know um sorry it's getting a little it's a little colder now <laughs> um yeah I, I don't know I don't know what to do. And I'm just gonna make this a long video of me talking about it. I'm literally like, this hasn't happened to me before and I don't know what to do. And Well, I gotta get a job, you know what I mean? That's what I gotta do, I gotta get a job. Um, I have four months four months to get a job before I have to sell houses the cabin um I have a little like condo in the city um I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do and I'm in that moment in my life where I'm like I don't know Maybe I change my career. Maybe I become a rafting guide. You know, I, I mentioned that to Scott and he was just like, what? <laughs> I was like, maybe this is like where I'm like, hey, I'm gonna try something totally different. You know, maybe I, I'd say maybe I do my wilderness classes and do it full time or something. But like, just the thought of having to recruit people to take my class and, and really having to push it to me doesn't sound like a lot of fun. I like doing the classes, I just, I don't know if I want to do all that marketing for the classes, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Like, is it time for me to change my career? I've been doing it for 22 years. Not kidding you, I've been doing the same job for 22 years. I'm good at it. And for them to say I wasn't? <laughs> no, they didn't say that in particular, but... Anyways, try not to talk about the company because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Truly, it just doesn't matter because there's nothing I can do to make it better. Anyway, I stopped the camera for a little bit. These get to be pretty long videos. <laughs> I'm going to, I still haven't bought a, a camera to film on yet. I'm still filming on my cell phone. Um, because my camera broke but uh you know what do you do when you when you lose your job I, d I don't know like I the market's really bad right now especially for my industry it's it's pretty bad and honestly I think the market's bad for everywhere you know what speaking of that you know what happened the other day I was I got a call from somebody I haven't got a call from in a while like I haven't worked with this guy in like 10 years and he calls me out of the blue and he says, Tam, he's like, you're in the same boat as me. He's like, welcome to unemployment. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, he's like, well, I want to prepare you. You got 12 months. He said, it takes 12 months to find a job. And I'm like, what? I'm like, thanks for calling me about the positive news. <laughs> and he's like, the job market sucks. You need to figure out what you're going to do. Like, I haven't talked to him in like 10 years and he called me up like I was his buddy, you know, but you know, I don't know. I worked with, he was an engineer and I worked with him and you know, I had a great time. He's very knowledgeable. He's really wicked smart. And, uh, 
he's been told by companies that he's um, he has too much experience. <laughs> So he can't find a job because he's got too much experience. And he says, there's such a thing as ageism because he's about the same age as me, you know. And he's like, we're getting discriminated against. Our jobs are being taken away. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Um, but, you know, misery likes company, you know. So I actually um, joined this. I'm joining this group of people that are unemployed. And it's kind of like a support group. <laughs> You know, um, and then I also, uh, my director, I wasn't the only one that was laid off too. My, uh, my director got laid off as well. And I loved working with her. Um, and, uh, so her and I, we have, um, Wednesday morning meetings where we can sit and we can talk about if we have an interview and now it's only been, I guess it's now about two weeks since I've lost my job. And, um, and so I think that, um, you know, I think I'm, I'm still okay, but I'm still angry and I'm so angry <laughs> because I work so hard and I sacrifice so much of my personal life for that company. And like, part of me is like, I'm never going to do that again. You know, like my, my mental health, my, uh, my time with my family and my loved ones are more important than any job. And I'm not going to work the hours that I normally worked. You know, like that's where I'm at right now. But of course, I'm sure once I get a job and if the project's fun, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to go in there, you know, because I actually really do love my job. You know, I, I have a lot of fun with it. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of a a positive spin for this for me. And I, the thing I can come up with is, this is what it was meant to be. I was meant to make a change. You know, I, if you, it's a lot of you have watched me for a long time. And, you know, I say every four years I change. Every four years. And um, it's been about four years <laughs> since I decided to uh, purchase the cabin. That was my big change. Because um, it took three years to build it. And I've had the cabin for about a year. So, yeah, we're about that stage where we're at four years again. And it's time to get in my cocoon and become a butterfly again and figure out what it is that I'm going to do on my next adventure, you know. Um, I'm going to work really hard to try to keep this cabin. Um, I've had conversations with Kyla. I mean, Madison's already moved out. My older daughter has moved out. I have another daughter that's at home, but I get her every other week. So I'm here on the weeks that I don't have her. Um, and so I've been talking to her because I told her, I said, I might have to either rent a room out or um, sell it or rent it out or, you know, figure something out. So that weeks that I have her, that I'm with her. Um, and, you know, she's really, she's really open, but it's really hard to read my daughter. You know, like I don't, I, it's really hard to read her. And I, I say, like, if, if I didn't have, if she wasn't in high school and had another two years left, I would be like, no brainer, sell the place in the city, move up here full time, like, <laughs> no brainer, you know what I mean? And, and move in with Scott, and you know what I mean? And in the city is just, Scott doesn't have a place for Kyla um, to be. So it's like, that's not even an option. So like, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure it all out. I don't know. What do I do, you guys? I've been watching some YouTube. My YouTube feed is so different now. My YouTube feed is how to interview, how to update your resume, how to build a portfolio. Um, I spent eight hours yesterday on my portfolio. Um, being that I'm a, a designer, you know, I, I do other things, but... It's mostly a designer um, you have to have a really good portfolio and these companies are looking for the unicorn you know they're looking for that perfect person that has done what they do and I don't know why companies feel that way I actually when I hire designers I want people from all different industries um, and I like a team with a lot of diversity in regards to what industries they've been in. And so that way they come up with different ideas. I don't know why companies want to 
always hire people that know their company and do it the way that they do it. I don't know. So again, I'm trying to be positive, but it's been really tough. I've been here for five days in the forest. I am much better right now. <laughs> you guys are like, seriously? <laughs> yeah. I need more days here in the forest. And you know what? You know what I'm telling myself too? It's like, I gotta have fun. Like, I'm so stressed out about like paying bills or, you know, losing something that I have or, you know, my horse, you know, and, and I need to just like, Madison was up here for a while and, and we went for a really pretty hike and I got to talk to her and, you know, she's younger and she doesn't have the responsibility I have. Um, but just being around her and just remembering what it was like when I was like her age, where I was like, oh, I'm not going to work here. I'm going to work here now. You know what I mean? Like, and it was just, it's just really nice because she reminds me of that time in my life. And, and I've, I've signed up for too much stuff. You guys, like I, I, I my monthly fees are too high and I need to, this is a good reminder to display like, Tam, you're, you're doing way too much, you know? Like, you have a horse, you got a condo, you have a cabin, you have a car, you have a, you know what I mean? It's just like, I need to stop. This is a pretty good eye-opener. It's like, I can't live like that and do that all on my own. I just, I can't do it. And watching Madison without really any responsibilities, except, you know, she has to pay, she has to pay rent, um, but she's like f free. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I, I just, I just want to be like that. <laughs> I'll live out of my car. I'll live in a tent, you guys. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, oh, mosquitoes, they're still out. I sit here and I watch the birds all day that and I work on my resume <laughs> and apply to jobs. I applied to 200 jobs in a, two weeks. Yeah, 200 jobs. I have an Excel spreadsheet where I'm tracking everything. Um, I, I, I'm taking that as a job, um, but I really feel that I need to take a break. You know, if I can, if I can afford it, I just need to just take a break. Part of me wants to just go backpacking or hike the Colorado Trail or something like that, you know? Wouldn't that be fun? That'd be fun. I'd like that. But I have to find a job. Because I can't be irresponsible right now in my life. Not with Kyla still needing me for two more years. I have two more years and, and I'm Kyla, if you watch this video, I'm not counting down for when you move out. That's not it. You know, like I miss her when she's not around me. You know what I mean? It's just, um, I want to be there for her, for her, the, the last two years before she, she goes. And I want to be, um, I want to be the mom she needs. You know what I mean? Not the mom that's like living out of a van down by the river. <laughs> But <clears throat> or in a tent, that would be fun. And I want to give you guys heads up what I'm going through right now. That's the reason why, um, I don't know what, when it's end of um, August right now, somewhere around there. Um, I had a lull in videos that were posted. Um, that's during this time. Because I just didn't even feel like posting anything. I think it was like two or three weeks I didn't post. That's right now. I'm preparing for six to 12 months without a job. That's what I'm trying to prepare for right now. Um, that's what the industry says. That's what everyone's talking about. You know, if I get a job, bonus. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, six to, six to 12, six to 12 months without a job maybe I can do like a little early or mid retirement is there such thing where you can like retire for a little part 
Like maybe I can retire for like five years and then go back to work. <laughs> Why can't we do that? Because honestly, like my job is sitting down at a desk all the time. Why can't I just like do that later in life when I don't feel like hiking up mountains? Um, I don't know why we got to do it like we're all right now. I need to get out of this mindset of all these things that are like, it should be this, it should be that, it should be this. It's a really long talking video. So you might see more of me. <laughs> bonus. <laughs> That's the bonus part. I get to do a lot more YouTube videos, you know. Um, probably not traveling anywhere, but I will be here chopping wood. I was going to buy a log splitter this year. Um, or Scott was, but, you know, I think that we should save our money and just... We need the exercise anyways. Might as well just chop all this wood that's behind me uh, over here. You know, just chop a bunch of, like, cords of wood. By the time I'm done, I'm going to be like... <laughs> It's like, I'm good. I had a hard time chopping wood today. Did you guys see that in the video? <laughs> like, I was like, wow. I, need a, I don't know if I have my skill down. You know, I got spoiled with that log splitter. I gotta figure this out. <laughs> I gotta be more efficient. I'm like chopping like three logs and I'm like, oh, I need to take a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know what else to talk about, but I'm going to try to remain positive. I'm going to try to have fun. <laughs> I want to do things that are fun. And, uh, you know, and still still look for a job. Don't get me wrong. I'll always be looking for a job and going on interviews and talking to people and, and trying to sell myself, you know, and thinking about what other jobs I could do, you know. Maybe it's time for a change in career. I was going to change my career in like 10 years, not now, <laughs> you know. Um, now's the time where you, you save money for retirement. But but anyways, I, um, yeah, I'm going to try to remain positive and try to think this is this is what was meant to be. And this is the challenge that the, the writers gave me of my life. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm going to survive. You know, and I will find a way to survive. I always have. Um, <clears throat> I've never had anybody help me. Um, you know, I usually am the type of person that I figure it out all on my own. You know, in, in fact, I think I recently talked to Scott and he's like, well, don't you need me? <laughs> you know, and yeah, you know, I, I like him around. It's just I deal with my problems differently, you know. Like, I'm like, you can't help me. And the only person that can help me is me. And so, like, that's how I see it, you know? And it's like, I got myself into this mess of having high bills every month. And now I have to figure out how to reduce that. And that's something that I need to do. And I got to make some pretty tough decisions here uh, within two months. In two months, I have to make a, some tough decisions. I got to sell something or rent something. Maybe I can rent my cabin. I don't. Part of me doesn't want to rent the cabin. Scott's like, don't rent the cabin. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but I might need to. <laughs> um, I don't know. You guys, I'm going to take you along the journey as I figure it out and have fun too and learn to have fun while um, I'm struggling a little, you know. And uh, sometimes that's what life gives you, you know. You just got to figure it out. And uh, a job does not define who I am. It does not. And I am much more than that job. And I am actually, in the last two weeks... I'm happy I'm not there. Um, I started looking back of who I became because of that job, and I didn't like it. And who they wanted me to be was not the person that I am. I am kind. I am caring. I'm empathetic. 
and I have to be quiet. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Um, I won't let anybody change who I am to meet their needs. You know, I had almost every one of my employees call me and a couple of them even cried. Three, three of them cried, you know. So like, to me, that meant a lot, you know. They all gave me recommendations and like really good recommendations too, you know. Um, I will miss them and they'll miss me too. But I told him, I said, you need to do what's right for you. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, this is a long video. I'll try to be more positive. Just give me a, give me a minute here. <laughs> give me a couple videos so I can heal and figure things out talk through some things with you and uh, get back to my normal me and who knows you know maybe we're gonna have a lot of fun <laughs> you know maybe I'll get over this anger and I'm gonna be like you know what you guys let's go have fun let's go be a ski instructor this winter <laughs> you know? that's actually on the list of things that I might do this winter um, either a ski instructor or like a um, ski coach or something like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. Got to be something winter, like some winter sport thing that could be just fun to do. That's in this area. That might be, that's the tough part. There's nothing really around where I, where I live. Everything's like an hour drive, but it might be kind of fun. I might kind of like it. You never know. Okay, you guys. <sighs> Send some good vibes my way. Some, uh, help me um, I would say help me make the right decision, but really, again, it's my decision to make, so I have to make some decisions here. But I'll bring you along. Thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Patreons, because you guys, without them, I would not be able to do these videos because I would not have the software to edit the videos. <laughs> so um, thank you, my Patreons. And uh, really appreciate you. And if you want to be a Patreon, you want to help me out during this time, um, I do have a, I think there's a link at the end of the video and I put people's names on it. And um, you can join for a month or join for um, two months, whatever you want. <laughs> Everything helps, you guys. Everything helps. So um, thank you. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.